Tikuwa nisi kuyana na nemi, baba chaturungu kutuwa gachi ova, kutawara kwenu. 
shokorenyu ndura tainga baba kutaura kwenyu baba makanaka ndo kwa tainga ndiro shokori mwe chete baba ratirera makure isa nokuti pose pamuno taura tozwa kuti kupenyu chiwaine zvo baba makanaka tenze patiri ukadzirira baba makanaka kuti nzwe shokorenyu baba makanaka tibatsire ine upo wenyu baba tichisa muya yose yakaipa muya yese inonetesa pasi petsoka dzedu chiofa Pangua ino baba ya maiburuka mbindure iden. Mchiana ana baba ne vana wenyu. Tikuna mata kuti muite saizo zo jehova. Vana wenyu vaungana kuti muyana ne nao mwari. Baba mazadza ai jehova. Umwe ne umwe ne muya mutsvene. Tiwani simba redenga. Tiwani muya wenyu mwari makana katenze. Unoti kundisa baba zviyo zose. Baba kana pane chino chiripo chino kunyanga dza ai jehova. Zururai mwari makana katenze. Vana wenyu vanogadzirisa jehova. Vana venyu vakamirira baba makanaka kana kuri baba makanaka kurangwa Jehova tirange ine rudo rwenyu mwari maka kana kusimudzirwa isimudzire baba ne rudo rwenyu mwari takumita kumgidza service ino mawako nyuma tsheni kai wiri service Jehova yakasiyana nemango ma service nekuti imi mwari amujairike Jehova pose pamuno ya Jehova pane ke pane chinhu chitsva chitokuna matai chikumidza service ino muroko rwenyu rine simba muzitara kana kana Jesu Kristo Amen, amen. Sinukwa sana zwekare mustara tenzweli Jesu Christo. Hallelujah. Vangana varu kufara zwekare. Kuya kuyimba ya she. Praise be the name of the Lord. Uza amayri pasa edine woti shamwari. Kana pae ni chinogu na kukutazi saguye nda uku. Kana uti kana une chimwe chete, chate singa une rani. <laughs> Chino kuna uti tazi sakuenda. Dai wandere gerera. Praise the Lord. Muze. <laughs> Praise be the name of the Lord. Anzi uko kuno da wakachena. Vasina kwa paka na kunyana. Hallelujah. Pamsoro pa kudenga kuna vachena oga. Pam soro pakudenga kunava chene boka ipo pam so pam soro pakude iko kunava chene hallelujah ke. Kunava chene Iye anoda Kuyenda kuonga Kashi te uri Kona anu Ano zo katiri Kona I am where Hallelujah. I am where Oh, Jesus. Oh, na kupe kupe za mosha ze oda nakara. Chene, hallelujah, na na iwe, hallelujah, na na iwe, wokutika kanatavi isine nerufu pano. Amatire, tireke kuzora, ona kuye, kuye na pa kude, hallelujah ku, kuye na pa kude, wonti che. Shenti chere, 
Hallelujah. The cloud of glory is moving. Yes, move with the cloud. Let us move. Oh, the cloud of glory is moving. Oh, move with the cloud. Let us move. The cloud of glory. Oh, the cloud of glory. Let's put our hands together, church. Moving on, 
is moving on. Mangan on us, let's Let's look together, church. Let's put our hands together. The church is moving on. are moving on. Sisters are moving on. Hallelujah. Akuna chingati misa. Praise the Lord. Do songana, do songana. 
Oh God. 
Praise be the name of the Lord. Baba Tonamata Baba Isu Tona Ishewangu Ba Baba Tonamata Oh Baba Baba Tona Pawane shandu kumkatime mburi zedu Pawane shandu kumafambire edu Pawane shandu 
kwa matauro edu Nekuti shokota mwari kena rishinga rishipari zwa Rino shandura baba upenye wedu Rino shandura mafungiro edu Jehova taurari soma dekona anu Sina kumukiza ngwaino baba Kuti mkotanga nesu service ya nasi Mkopeza nesu Nemu zita Rama mojeso kuhisa tunaba na kutenda Amen sitting down already. You can take your seat, but you will stand up just now. I want to greet you this afternoon, the wonderful name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I want to greet you this afternoon, the wonderful name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Also greeting those joining us by live streaming in the wonderful name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. We're so thankful tonight. God has given us yet another service day to draw us closer to Him. We know when we come to church, God is already waiting to speak to our hearts. Pastor Tafara Mazinga from Arondera is going to preach for us this evening. Pastor Mazinga, one of our Arondera and watch at Paris Sira Manevano. As his name, you know, he's a happy man. Says Nongo Tara Sara Omuno, Anogaraj Fara. But he's completely the opposite when uh, he's talking about the evil spirits and the polygamy spirit. It's been long uh, without him coming here. I uh, but we still thank the Lord that he's here tonight. We're going to stand, sing a song as we invite him. Why don't we sing Amazing Grace? It's it's no He sang very well. I should say today, uh, that was very good. I enjoyed that. You no, know, very old, old uh, hymnal songs. You know, they're very, very good. You know, they just uh, bring the anointing. Praise be the name of the Lord. And our musicians here. Our director of music, you know, he plays it. You know, he has got a special way of playing. Even without seeing, I can tell he is the one who is playing the guitar. We thank God so much. Amen. Because of amazing grace. Zino Disha Misa Zaka Zipo Nesa Daka Gena Singa
Let us surrender our hearts and our mind and our bodies as we, come, as we come under expectation. Expecting him to visit us, to bless us, to grant unto us our desires. Bible says is the one who grants the desires of his servants. That's why when we come into his presence, we come under expectation. Amen. Shall we approach his throne? Dear Father, the creator of heavens and earth, Jehovah, our provider, our savior. You are the Alpha and Omega. You are the beginning and the ending of all things. Tonight, we raise our hands and bow down our eyes, our heads, our hearts in humility. But we may come with the same confidence and confession like our precious brother Peter. He said, Lord, where can we go? We are raising our hands now to thee because in this world where we are dwelling according to the flesh, there is no place to go anymore. There is nobody who is going to understand us and hear us. There is no one who is going to be concerned about our, our welfare. Only you, Father. Therefore, we know you are not surprised as you see us approaching your throne because you also invited us one time. You spoke through the lips of your own mouth. You said, come ye, all that are heavenly laid, then I will give you rest. Now we come. Thou knowest all things, Father. You know us by names. You know us where we come from. You know our desires. You know our spiritual and natural condition. Our prayer tonight is that the Holy Spirit may be poured down upon all flesh in this service. Visit us and let the Holy Spirit minister unto each and every one of us tonight. From one chair to another. From one family to another. From one situation to another. May you come and declare yourself unto us that we may know you. Because you say to know you is life. We pray that it may be so unto us tonight as we commit ourselves into your own hands and pray that the Holy Spirit who inspired the scriptures that we are venturing into now, he may come and be with us and inspire our hearing and our hearts that after, at the end of it all, your will may be done in this church, in our hearts, in our homes, and wherever we are found. And then all glory shall come back to you. As we ask for this, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, thine only Son, begotten Son, according to the promise, we come in the name of Jesus Christ. Prayer. Amen. Amen. Um, while least you are still standing, I would like to uh, invite you to open your Bibles with me. To the book of John, John. Chapter 20. Uh, chapter 20. I would like to read a few verses from verses 19 up to 22. 
Yada kuerenga ma verse ma show ma guaba verse nineteen kutoka pa verse ya twenty two. Amen. Amen. I hope we are all there. No imba kutoa seta wapo. If we are there, we can say amen. Kana chile po tingati amen. God bless you. Shall we proceed? Marwa kupa fadzei. Now the Bible says. Then the same day at evening, being the first day of the week, when the doors were shut where the disciples were assembled for fear of the Jews, came Jesus and stood in the midst and said unto them, Peace be unto you. Zino awa madeko, pazwa iro, rokutanga reviki, mikoa, yapigwa, pawakanga vari, paka ungana, E wadzidzi no kuchka wa juda Jesu akawuya akamira pakati pao akati kwaware rugare kwa muri. And when he had so said, he showed unto them his hands and his side. Then were the disciples glad when they saw the Lord. Zino wakati ariwa izozo akawaratiza zanza zake no rutiwirwake wadzidzi wakafara wachuona ishe. Then said Jesus to them again, Peace be unto you. As my Father had sent me, even so sent I you. Jesu akati zekwa wari, rugare kwa muri, baba sezo wakandi tuma, neni ndino kutuma iwo. And when he had said this, he breathed on them and said unto them, Receive ye the Holy Ghost. Zino wakati ariwa izuzo, akafemira kwa wari, akati kwa wari, gamuchirai mwe ya mchene. You may be seated. Tinga gara vedu fasi. May the Lord reach you bless the reading of his word. Mari wa kumbure reshkuru kuheri mwa kushukura ho. I had to decide to read with you the scriptures before you sat down before the protocols because I didn't want to keep you standing or make you stand, sit down and stand and you know them things like that. But protocols must be observed. I say shalom God bless you. Amen. Amen. I'd like to greet you all in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. And say to you, peace be unto you. Amen. Amen. I'd like to express my humble gratitude to Pastor Blessing Manyeche. For opening his pulpit for me to come and not to preach, but to fellowship. Christ is the preacher. Amen. So we come around to fellowship. Amen. Amen. But in the spirit together. Uh, I'd like to appreciate uh, the presence of my precious brother. Brother Caleb Chigudo. Amen and pray that the Lord may be a blessing to him. It has befallen me to stand behind the sacred desk. Not for anything new or anything special. But just to fellowship around the scriptures from the few verses that we have read I personally am outside I'm useless except I know I'm dealing with the word of God I've always wondered if I was not a Christian what was going to be of me because outside of Christ, I'm, I'm useless. I'm nothing. But I take my comfort in the word of God. In him. I, that's why I love the word. At least the word has got something good for me 
The word tells me something good about me. And that kind of encourages me quite a lot. Outside, people are denigrating me. The world is calling me names. The world is being offended of me. Because of the testimony of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. But let me say, the scriptures that we have read, it's one of them scriptures that encourage me so much. Gives me a remembrance of my purpose in this life. Amen. Amen. So I would like to fellowship with you a little bit on a subject I titled So send I you. So send I you. Amen. Mm. Now, this I got kind of uh, inspired around these scriptures as I've been thinking and looking at um, what God is expecting from the bride of Christ in this hour. And uh, at one time, there was uh, somebody who asked Brother Branham. He said this. Shall the bride have a ministry before the rapture? Amen. God bless you for that. Brother Branham said, Brother Branham Wakati. Yes. Wongu. And then he goes ahead and says, it, This is exactly what is happening now. He says, The bride of Christ will have a great ministry before the rapture. And then he says, it is what is happening right now. Then the next sentence says something. He says, it consists of prophets. 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 Apostles, pastors, evangelists, and teachers. So, Brother Branham is actually putting us in a position of responsibility as the bride of Christ that we have a great ministry before the rapture. So the bride of Christ must be active. Something must be happening amongst us, around us, inside of us. Wherever we are, God is under expectation for something to be happening. And he is expecting us to be doing something until the rapture happens. Amen. Amen. Now let me go back to my scriptures. Christ is now giving the responsibility to the disciples who were kind of representing us in that hour because we were not born yet. We were not part of the manifestation of the word during that hour. God had us laying down on the, in the ground of the earth waiting for our time. But now, this is what I want to fellowship with you around. Then, the statement that comes out from the mouth of Jesus, I ended up pondering about it, studying about it, trying to understand what exactly God is trying to push on to us. I want to take you back to uh, 
verse uh, it should be verse 21. So that verse 21. That's where I took my title. The Bible says on verse 21. Bible, you know, verse 21. Then said Jesus to them again. Peace be unto you. Now this is what I want. Jesus and as my father had sent me, so, even so send I you. Now there are two things here. There is the sending of the son by the father. And then the son sending the church. Amen. Amen. You know, when I grew up, let me say this. It encourages me so much. We, we used to, to have, uh, you know, in athletics, what is called the short relay. I was not good. I was not good. When it came to short relay, a short relay, all I had to do is to pay attention to the whistle. I mean, I was not good with long distances. But when it comes to short relay, I produce the results. All I had to do is to pay attention to the detail. The moment the whistle goes off, the same moment I'm off, before I get tired or exhausted, I'm already handing over the, the battle the I didn't have nothing to worry about. By the time they're trying to prove me wrong, it's too late. By the time they try to prove that I can be exhausted sooner than them, I've already handed the battle to somebody. I've already produced the results. Now the responsibility rests with the person that I've given the battle. It's good because we take part and contribute to a certain level. And God gives us time to rest. We have no excuse. And after all, our last portion, our relay, our portion, according to the prophet, our age is the shortest. So there is no reason to tire down. There is no reason to fail. Because the distance God gave us is a church age. It's the shortest. So we have given the shortest rest. That's why God is not expecting us to faint. Hallelujah. He is expecting us to be fresh to the end of the day. The ministry of the bride is until the rapture comes. Amen. Amen. Now the sending is like this. Jesus says, Yes, why not? As the Father had sent me, so send I you. So he's telling us that the same method that God used to send him is the same method him being Christ the Messiah the son of God is going to use to send us 
And it gives us the responsibility to go back and check how the Father sent the Son. It helps us to have an understanding of how God or Jesus is sending us as the bride of Christ. So we have an example. When God sent Jesus, the same method, Jesus says, Jesus is going to use the same method to send us. He's sending us where? Into the world. Because we have a ministry. A great ministry. But Branham says it will be so humble. Because it will be humble, many are going to miss it. Hallelujah! Amen. The ministry of the bride is humble. That's according to prophecy. It's not going to be that of a, so much of a, of, a, of a social media brand or, or publicity or something is going to be humble. Remember under the influence of the seventh seal. Where God achieves the best under the silence. Hallelujah. The ministry of the bride is not about making noise about things. It's not about becoming a celebrity in the message of the hour. It's not about becoming a social media star. It's not about the world knowing about everything that is happening amongst us. But lo and behold, I see things are happening in the lives of the so-called believers of the message. Hallelujah. Remember the 10th vision. Brother Branham says things were happening in the tent. In the small tent. And nobody knew what was happening there. Things were happening between God and the individual when he came out, when somebody came from the small tent, people saw the change. When they asked them what happened, I don't know. And is he Brother Bonham says, God is not a show off. So things are going to be happening. Things are happening among the believers. While this, the world does not know, they are not paying attention to what is happening because it's not happening the way they expect. It's not happening the way they've been trained. Remember what the prophet says about the ministry of John. The prophet says, <laughs> the Bible had prophesied about John. And you know, the words in the Bible, <laughs> the expressions uh, about the ministry of John, prophet had said, small hills shall jump like rams. And High places shall be made low. And low places shall be made high. The imagination of the carnal believer made them to underestimate the ministry of John. When they looked at John, his messages, his clothing, his hairstyle, they couldn't match that with the jumping up and down of hills. They couldn't see but the, the high places being made low. Let me leave that alone. 
Now let's go back to see how the father sent the son. Now the Bible says in the book of John. In the beginning was the word. That word was with God. That word which was with God was actually God. Hallelujah. And then John chapter 1, you go down to verse 12, 13, 14. John chapter 1, verse 12, 13. Then the Bible said the word became flesh. Dwelt amongst us. Amen. And John came and said, We beheld with our own eyes. He says, We handled with our own hands. But he says that was after we heard about it. So now the word which was in the beginning. That is the same word which came down. And became flesh. That was the son. But remember. The son. Before he was in flesh. He was actually expressed in the spirit as the logos. Before he became flesh on earth. Hallelujah. Amen. He became the son in heaven before he was the son on earth. Brother Branham says, God birthed himself. So when he birthed himself, the logos came out of him. And when it came out of him, that was the son and then God began to speak to the Logos. And Brother Branham says, that's when we come to Genesis chapter 1. When, when the Logos was now out of God, it was now with God, it was God, Amen. Amen. But it was a process of God condescending towards the flesh. But in that in that position, in that state, God could now speak to the Son. That's when He said, "Let us make men in our own image." Even though it was us. The image was not of two different personalities. The image was of one personality which is God himself. So the son was with God in the beginning before he came on earth. The relationship between God and the Son started in heaven. Then he came on earth for the ministry. That part of his ministry was supposed to be manifested here on earth. Hallelujah. Amen. That's why the Bible teaches us that Jesus was actually God in flesh. Brother Branham says it was, it was God reconciling himself with the earth. It was actually God himself. 100% of God in Jesus. The Son was not a biological son. It was a scriptural son. It was a ministerial son. He came from the word. That's why he said, I came from God and I'm going back there. Hallelujah. Amen. Now the church. Amen. Amen. Brother Branham says, Brother Branham, we are part of the word. Now if we are part of the word, we were with God. When the word was with God. Because we are the word. We are part 
birth of the word. So when the word was in the beginning. When it was with God. We were the word. We were part of that word. Which was with God. In the beginning. And remember. That same word. Which is us. The Bible says. It was actually God himself. So we have to bear that in mind. It had been in bondage for 400 years. The Bible says God came down. Hallelujah. Amen. To an eight-year-old man who had been relegated by Egypt. Hallelujah. Pharaoh wanted him dead. I don't care how much the world wants you dead. If God ordained you to save a people, it shall be done. It's never too late to save God. It's never too late to hear the voice of God. Moses heard the voice of God at eight years. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Simeon of the Bible. Simeon in Bible. He heard the voice of God when he was older. Abraham, our father, Abraham, heard the voice of God when he was older. It's never too late, my brother. It's never too late, my sister, to hear the voice of God. No matter how old you are, it's never too late. No matter how sick you are, it's never too late. To See the power of the God of William Adam Branham. When Moses had given up himself, he had become a coward. Like what the message people have done this hour. We are now in the hiding mode. We are hibernating. We have become cowards. And the prophet says, God does not work with cowards. Somebody has got to rise up like some guy and stand in the position and claim the ministry of the bride. Stand up under the Holy Ghost and move with the word and the will of God is going to be done. Hallelujah. Amen. You know what happened? Moses heard. He saw a sign. A pillar of fire. And then the prophet says, God was attracting the attention of the prophet. Amen. Then when Moses paid attention, when Moses came to church like we've done, Moses Hallelujah. Amen. Sometimes God just wants you to be in a certain place. He just wants you to come to church. Something that you have been praying for for 10 years. It's going to happen in that day. He just wants you to come. Come closer. Come closer. Come to church. Come to church. And the voice is going to speak to you. And what surprises me? God says something. He says to Moses, I have heard the cry of my people. Believers of the message, does God hear the cry of his people? Can somebody say something about it? Can God hear the cry of his people? The Bible says yes. Because God said, I have heard I don't care how long you have been crying. I don't, I don't care, care how, how long you have been praying about it. it. I don't care how much you are doubting tonight. But because you have come to church. God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He says, I have heard. Let me tell you something. The God of William Adam Branham. He has got ears. One and zero. 
The Bible says, Bible notes. I have heard dance, what? and now I have come. I mean, but now something happened there that puzzled me. He says, I have heard the cry of my people. I have come down from heaven to do what? Not to loaf around. Not to sleep around. Not to be coward. I have come to deliver. Deliverance is of the Lord. No matter how much you have been in captivity. No matter the power and the strength of your captors. When time for your redemption comes, God comes down to deliver you. The time of redemption is drawing nigh now in this hour. I don't care how impossible it looks. The spoken word Spoken words. The rapture. Brother what the Branham says. At the end of that book. At the end of that message. He says. Why not? It has been spoken. So shall it be. Hallelujah. The rapture is going to happen. Whether you like it or you don't. Whether you believe it or you don't. Somebody is going to be raptured. One of these days, all things are possible. Our redemption has come. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Okay, what I want is this. God says to Moses, I have come down to deliver my people. He likes that. He likes to deliver you. Sometimes he sounds like he's quiet. Sometimes he appears like he's not hearing your prayer. But you know what the Bible says? The Bible says, them that come to God must be patient. Because after all, God dwells in eternity. He's never under pressure. God does not use your 30-day calendar. Amen. He works with his perfect will. He works with his ordination. He has got his own calendar. calendar But let me tell you something. Even if it appears he is quiet. But the Bible teaches me. He hears. When when Daniel was praying about the captivity of Israel. You realize that God is interested in captivity. Eh? People that are in bondage. He's always on the touchline waiting for you to talk. Waiting for you to say something about it. He's waiting for you to say something about it. He's waiting for you to do something about it. Then he jumps into it. He says, I have come down to deliver them. And brother, brother Moses, brother Moses, like the rest of us, he becomes enthused. And he's very happy. And he feels like at 80 he can retire out of the pulpit. Because now God has come, he's going to do it himself <inaudible> while he's sitting in the terraces. <inaudible> Things, hey, Elohim has come. So I'm going to be sitting around <inaudible> and watching as things unfold. <inaudible> then God turns around to Brother Moses. <inaudible> he said, now, I'm sending you. Hey. Yes, sir. I thought you said you came down to deliver them. I thought I heard you correctly. I quoted you on paragraph so and so. Paragraph number You said I have heard. I have come down to deliver them. So now, how come you are sending me? 
Does God work with double standards? Is he chickening out now? Ah. But that's his method. When it comes to deliverance. Remember, we are taught by the word that we are co-workers. Ah. Amen. My father worked and I worked hitherto. In the kingdom of God, God is not a dictator. God is not selfish. God doesn't want to do everything. In his family, he does something and he gives other responsibility to the wife, to the, to the, to the bride. For her to do it. Because after all, it's him doing that. How did he do that? He says, now I'm sending you. But watch what happens. Moses began to say things. God is not concerned about that. He sends him anyway. And then, the phenomena Seizes. In other words, words, what I'm saying is the pillar of fire, after the voice finished speaking, the pillar of fire vanished. As if he died. That was the end Do of the supernatural. No. As when God begins to perform, he does not retire. God does not go to for weekends. God does not have public holidays. 24-7. When the pillar of fire disappeared from the bush. He didn't go back to heaven. You know what Brother Branham says? He says when God sends a man to do a certain job, he says God jumps into that man. And then he goes and does the job himself. Inside that man. So when the pillar of fire disappeared from the bush. He did not go back to heaven. It jumped into brother Moses. And from that hour, Moses, 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 Moses was more than a prophet. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When God looks at him, he sees spirit inside. He sees the pillar of fire in Moses. No, 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 no. This is a God, man. He says, brother, now because you are a God, I'll give you Aaron for a prophet. Because Amos 3, 7, Amos chapter 3, verse 7, God says, I cannot do nothing without a prophet. So because Moses, you are now a God, you need a prophet. I give you Aaron. Moses from that moment, he marches to Egypt. Where he was afraid before. Hallelujah. He was running away from it. Sometimes fear is because the Holy Ghost is not there. Remember, Brother Branham says, perfect love and fear does not exist together. No. Moses, Moses, now be with the Holy Ghost. He that when I'm now him. with the angel. He goes to Pharaoh. He stands before Pharaoh. He says, Pharaoh, let my people go. He's no longer talking about the people of God. No. He says, they are mine. My people. God 
was now in Moses. That's how he sent him. And because of that, Pharaoh, Pharaoh being a world power, a world superpower of his day, but because of the angel of the Lord, Pharaoh could not withstand that. Pharaoh could not be a superpower, Pharaoh but then it's a supernatural power. When God comes to make a move, there is no power in this world that can stop him. He is the power above all power. Remember, he is the king of kings. All other kings must bow down. That's why believers, the brother or sister, when you have the Holy Ghost, Brother Bonham says, oh, when you speak the word, it's nothing but deity speaking. Because with the Holy Ghost, God is tabernacled inside us. And that is the climax of the ministry. That is the ministry of the bride. Is to tap in a call the Holy Ghost. To be the body of Jesus Christ. Let me close with this. Watching my time. The prophet says something. From the message. Elisha the prophet. Chapter number 5, 6. 1002E. Rabbanam says on paragraph 45. Says, as I said last night, Jesus said, as the Father has sent me, so send I you. And the Father that sent him went with him and was in him. And that Jesus that sends you Jesu Agakutuma goes. No, Jesu Anokutuma. Jesu Anokutuma. Aha. That Jesus that sends you Jesu Anokutuma goes with you. Ano in that way. And is in you. Atori Mauri. Ah, to the end of the world. Kusika Kuma Gumenika. Not to 2023. That is why. Even if somebody wanted you dead. Before 2024. Because of the commission of the Holy Ghost. Because of the ministry. God made sure. That you are here. In 2024. There is a purpose. There is a ministry for you. Something is going to happen. The Holy Ghost. He is going to overshadow you. And you are going to be sent. God has sent you into 2024. He makes sure he goes with you. Not just with you. Inside of you. The pillar of fire inside of you. Let me he says, oh, how beautiful. And no, it's not just some little calendar you picked up. Or some story of, uh, of a news wreck out here. It's God's eternal word. The Bible. That's true. God himself could not be not True. Than his word. God cannot be truer than his word. Listen. That's the third exodus. Kubam. Kubuda wechitatu. Tape number 630630M. The prophet says. I'm going to pick paragraph 51, but I'm going to read a portion of it. Paragraph 51. Amen. Amen. Brother Branham says something there. Amen. Amen. Uh, he says, uh, watch on paragraph 51. You notice, I have come down, but I'm sending thee. God, 
going in the form of a man. Huh? Not men. In the form of God. Huh? God. In the form of a man. He says, go. Let me read the 10th verse again. We are not going to read. I'm simply referring you to what the prophet says. He says, God going in the form of a man. Now, I want to close with Matthew 8, 20. Can, 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 if you are able, the brother, I just want to close with that one. Matthew, Matthew chapter 8, 8, verse 20. Verse 20. God help me. There's something there. That kind of, uh, okay. You got it. God bless you. He says on, 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 on verse 20, not the verse 20, and Jesus said, Unto him, the foxes have holes, and the birds of the air have nests. But the Son of Man had not where to lay his head. Brethren, let's look at this verse. With the spiritual spectacles. Now he's talking about foxes. Having holes. Beds. Having nests. Now when God says something. We have to pay particular attention. Remembering that God doesn't just mumble words for nothing. He knows the words to use for every purpose. Why is he talking about foxes and birds? Why is he talking about them having uh, holes and, and nests? And then he says, but the son of man has what? No place to lay his. Naturally, you would think about somewhere to sleep. But you don't, you don't just sleep. Only the head. Huh? When you are sleeping, you, are not, you don't sleep only the head. You don't sleep only the head. So why is he interested in a place to put only his, only the head? Now, remember. Remember. Beds. They don't just make nest for fun. It's for a specific purpose. And remember, birds don't stay in nests. No. The greater percentage of their lives, they are out of the nest. So why is he talking about nests and comparing with him having a place to put your head? No, look. Beds. When you see them making nests, it's for reproduction purposes. It's time for them to produce of their own kind. It's time to reproduce themselves. It's time to manifest of their kind. So it's for a certain season. For a certain purpose. When they are done with that, when they produce and the birds and their children fly away, the nests are finished. That's the same 
thing with the foxes. When you see them digging holes, it's either it's for reproduction or for storage of food. Now look. The Bible says Christ, Christ Christu. That's Ephesians 5, 28. Ephesians Christ 5, is the head of Christ, the church. Hallelujah. Amen. And that time, Pangwayoyo. before Mushure. the climax of his ministry in asata, the flesh, asata, asata, he looked at the church. It was too raw. Because the church is supposed to be the body and he the head. So he wants a body where he comes in as the head. He installs himself on the church as the head. It's the capstone ministry. It's the coming of the capstone to keep the ministry of the bride. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now watch. Amen. As I'm closing. He's looking at that. Huh? Amen. But he sees that the church is still too raw. It's not ready to be sent yet. Now remember. On the verses we read, he only said, as my father sent me, so send I you. Now, watch how he's sending them. After that, the following verse says, he breathed on them. He says, receive ye the Holy Ghost. Now, remember, okay, God, God does not breathe oxygen. Uh -huh. Brother Burnham says when he was talking about him breathing into Adam he says it was the breath of eternal life now he has the church in front of him he's supposed to send them so send I you but now him as the head the capstone cannot come on top of this church it's too raw the stature of a perfect man is not yet achieved Watch the order of the ministry of Brother Branham. Before he preached the seven seals, what happened? That was in 1963. 1962. 1962. He comes and preaches the stature of a perfect man. What was he doing? He was now preparing the church for the capstone ministry. The coming of the capstone. The head, which was lonely in Matthew, time had to come for him, the son of man, to be the head. Hallelujah. The head of the church. Now, this man is preparing the church. He to prepare the body through the stature of a perfect man. After he saw that, that's fine. Now he's in press. 1963. The cloud comes down. And what is the cloud? When he went, the Bible says, you have seen him go. The cloud received him. And the Bible says, the angels came as they were gazing. The angels which came told them the way you saw him going is the way he's going to come back. And the Bible said a cloud received him. So that same cloud which received him out of their sight is the same cloud that must bring him back. Because when God provides you transportation, there's no breakdown. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When he gives you transportation, there is no breakdown. The same mode of transport that takes you out of this world is the same that is going to bring you back. The same method of transport that brought you back is going to send you back.
can you make to God? God. The same pillar of fire. The same, fire. The the same cloud. Which took Jesus from a man. Just brought him back now. The capstone ministry. What is happening? He's sending the church. He's sending the bride. By what? Building the body first. So that he, the head, can come. Now he's no longer lonely. He's jumping into the church. And then he comes. He does the job himself. That's why Brother Branham says, the word is in the bride. And the mind of Christ. To know what God wants done with his word. Hallelujah. So that was the church. That how we have been sent. It's no longer God and men. It's God in the form of men. In this hour. Hallelujah. That's why Brabanam says. In the message it is the rising of the sun. He said that. She is him. Hallelujah. We. Are the word made manifest? We are the people that are supposed to fulfill the scriptures in this hour. The bride of Christ. We have the responsibility to be a tabernacle. To be the word made flesh. God bless you. God bless you, my uncle Robert Fazi. Pastor Majesh, can you come? Thank you. Amen. Yes, you. Can you put in the Mary school in Asuno? For speaking to our hearts. Nebutau and Moedu. And say, God bless you, Pastor Tafara Mazinga. Jiti Mari Makova Fadze, Pastor Mazinga. Aren't you glad this evening? Jino Manirano. Aren't you so glad this evening to realize that he is sending you? Did you hear the preacher saying the manner how God is going to send you? Our brother Chigudu is going to prepare come close with the word of prayer. Natural army generals they are sending their army for war. They remain in their offices giving command well, at least they are offshore. But the five-star general, we have heard tonight, he will go with you, but rather he will be in you. The the battle is not yours, but it is his. If the he is the one who is sending you, Finality. Battle is won. Tinamati. Ishewe do tens Jesu Christu. Tonako kutendai ni kutawra ni anazhedu. Ishewangu ta zona. Munikamu kamu tumiro. Kakasiana. Nema tumiro ayataka mbona. Nema tumiro ayataka mbonzoa. Zenyu zaka siya na Jehova. O oh, mchene tunukutendai. Ishe wangu baba neku isa shoko pachena. Tunukutendai mchene neku taurane anazedu. Tunukutendai mngari izunit kwa ni munu ane hanya. Ishe mune hanya ni mwenga. Mchene tunukutendai Jehova. Mungu wa ine kupeze sera mngari. Ishe wangu kungo zwa kuti atisi teka. Ishe wangu baba mchene. Tunofara mngari kuzwa kuti munesu. Isho wangu makataura mkata mutisi itiri nerera. Asimu change minesu. Kunyange kushka bama gumo enyika. Baba wangu tinokutenda i Jehova. Nerudorwe mando ya pamsoro. Oh, isho wangu sama simba. Muno tida shema shiro kwazo. Mwenga wengu wa ine kupeze sera. Baba wangu tinokutenda i Jehova. Tanzu wa ishe baba kutimngari. Maisha ya pekuisa msoro. Baba wangu mchene anzi shino tora kereke. Kuti ishike pa kuhiva. Baba wangu tiba tire ise dunga munu. Tiba tire ise muri Jehova. Mngari pese patichine umbishi. Umbishi mungu tenda shoko. Umbishi mungu zibata. Umbishi mngari maonere zinu. 
Baba tirikuna matamade kwa nano Iso wangu tishike pa kuhipa Baba wangu tibatire i Jehova Mwari tishike baba ishe patunonzwa Kutisharingana Iso wangu baba tibatire mchene Uya imu tanaure humbishi matiri mwari Uya imu pise humbishi mchene Humbishi baba kuramba kutende uka Humbishi we kuramba kutzoreka Humbishi we kuramba kutumika Umbishi baba ishe ukuramba mngari chinota wani mwe ya wenyu Baba tiba tire iti pfume jehova Mngari tirambe ishe baba taka shinga Chirala mahupenyu unokufadzai O mchene makanaka tiba tire Isho wangu baba tirambe taka sinina Tiri pasepe shumiro ya malaka ifo Tichinzu wa ifangeri lichipari zwa Tuzo hodi ifangeri irori Rimwere mazua no baba Tucha shika pa kukwani skwa Ticha shika pa kuhipa Jehova Irori shoko babarata kanzwa Rine shaka fanira Rine ma vitamins Baba wangu ishe rine shikwani siro jese Zucha tipa kupfutu kwa Jehova Tipa tire imwari tirambe taka mirira Ishe wangu baba tiripa njumbo tzedu Tino kutenda ishe ni simbara osera shansu wa ni mfundi isi baba Zoreza ishe simbara buda mawari Ishe wangu tino kutenda ine chisoro baba chataona Waro pafaze i Jehova Rupa fazai kereke ya waku marondea. Rupa fazai muri ya uishe. Rupa fazai shuise zonu batani mawako hao. Baba wangu ishe mwa pe shuishi wa shemoyo. Nuisa osha kare kereke edu mawako menyi jehova. Muno zia shuishi wa shatina zose kereke istita beneko. Baba tinuna mata mugo tibasira ishe mchene. Isho wangu baba rumbitu wae henyu. Na matu wae nekusinga peri. Waneo nyo wacha fwamba kufapano wacha nda kuzimba. Tuna mata mwa pe kufamba kwa kanaka. Ni muzita rata ni jeso kristo. Amen. We have come to the end of our service tonight. We meet on Sunday. Let's pray for the service. And Take our greetings to the saints in Marondera. Tell them we are blessed. Praise be the name of the Lord. Let's stand on our feet. As we sing the dismissal song, we continue loving one another. Let's pray for one another so that we become a unified army sent by God. Praise be the name of the Lord. Amen. The same God who is in your brother is the same God that is in you. Therefore, you cannot backbite no. God in your brother. Praise be the name of the Lord. Amen. The Messiah is the King of Kings. The Messiah is the Lord of Lords. The Messiah is the King of kings, oh, the Messiah is the Lord of Lords, yes, he's the King of kings, he's the Lord of Lords, yes, the Messiah is the King of kings, the Messiah
Messiah. 